Welcome to Lisa's Ladle, where we're cooking big in small places. Good morning. Welcome back to Lisa's Ladle, or welcome if this is your first time visiting our channel. Today, you are in for a treat. As always, we're making sailboat salsa. I love a really good, not too spicy, mouth likes spicy, tummy doesn't like spicy, but a medium spicy salsa. And if you like it spicy, you can always add more jalapeno or other types of peppers. So let's talk, go over today's ingredients. Normally I use eight Roma tomatoes. However, when you're limited because you're traveling and living the cruiser's life, you get what you can. So today I have six tomatoes, two jalapenos. It's going to be a half a cup of fresh cilantro, which I love cilantro. If you don't, eliminate it but it's good stuff guys good stuff normally a one small red onion today I'm using half of a medium young onion one lime one teaspoon of cumin two teaspoons of sugar two garlic cloves they're minced and then one teaspoon of salt and one green pepper so those are your ingredients for the sailboat salsa let's get our aprons and start chopping I like chunky salsa. Dave likes chunky, but a lot of juice salsa. So for the juice part of it, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all of my ingredients, all the veggies, take chop half of them, put them in a little magic bullet, get them all squishy and juicy. And then the rest of it, I'm gonna just dice up and that's gonna be my chunky part of the salsa. There has been a lot of debate on whether or not you leave the seeds in in the jalapenos where the heat comes. And I'm talking about debates on YouTube because I've watched several different salsa videos just to see different ingredients and different styles. And what I have been doing is taking the seeds and the veins out. Whether the heat is in there, I'm not positive if it's the pepper or the seeds. But I do know, after you chop a jalapeno, do not touch your eyes or anything on your face or your fingers because it will burn. Wash your hands afterwards immediately. What do you do if your knife becomes dull when you're chopping? You sharpen your blade. Time for a little magic bullet. Let's make a little bit of juice. I, use, I just fill my cup, not even halfway, just that way I can flop it around. You'll see how I do it. all tomatoes so I filled it up a little bit more than I did the last magic bullet shot we're gonna have to do a lot a lot of fun let's get to it
put your lid on. Give it a little shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Shake your salsa. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake your salsa. Shake your salsa. Because you don't have to shake. You can start if you want to. Shake it. Not stir. Guys, I know this doesn't look like much, but it tastes fabulous. And it's a very simple, easy sailboat salsa. Sometimes you are limited to the ingredients that you have. You can make a simple pico de gallo with some onion and tomato, green pepper, cilantro, because you know I like the cilantro. Once you get it stirred or shaken, do you want your workout or do you want your workout? This is where our lime comes into play. I'm going to take the whole lime and squeeze that juice in there, baby. We've shaken and now we're going to squeeze. For best results, I like to let the salsa sit overnight, but if you cannot wait to dip that salsa, you can let it chill for a couple hours and dip away. Bridge time. And there you have it, my friends, sailboat salsa. It took us less than 30 minutes to make, even though we had to chop all those fresh veggies. It's, it makes about 30 ounces, and as always, my friends, live, laugh, love, lick the ladle. I'll keep cooking until I see you next time. Thanks.